Hello gamers, geeks and gays, welcome back. This is the Outer Wilds with me, Sturx. What a journey this has been. At the time of recording, we've jumped up to 194 of you fantastic, amazing people watching this series and subscribing to the channel, and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, as a bit of a treat, as soon as we hit the 200 mark, we're going to be playing Firewatch as the next series. You guys did the poll um, and I've kind of locked it in now. That's what we're doing. So I can't wait to do more story based games with you guys. If you have any other recommendations, please let me know. I've got a few in the pipeline, but this is what we're doing now. We're a story based channel um, and I really want you guys to be able to live vicariously through my first playthroughs of some amazing, heartfelt, beautiful games. I'm a strong advocate for games can be art, and Outer Wilds has completely just blown all expectations out of the water now. Speaking of, we're going to go back to the Ember Twin, and there's a lot of things I want to do. There's a lot of places I feel like I need to go, but I can't go to all of them at once. Um, there was a big revelation at the end of the last episode where I kind of started to figure out that something's wrong with this. Something is inherently wrong with my understanding of what's going on. Um, I need to revisit the probe cannon, I need to revisit the giant steep, just kind of go through everything there with the construction yard, make sure I'm not missing anything. But that's gonna wait. It's gonna wait because I feel like there's so much more to explore in the Ember Twin. Um, and I went there with a specific thing in mind. I went there because I wanted to find out more about this time dilation effect that is taking place whenever the Nomai use warp technology. Um, and that kind of has interesting implications because that means that every time we warp our little scout, our little scout is appearing at us before the little scout leaves there, but by a fraction. And I don't know how true that is actually in gameplay purposes, but as far as the law is concerned, that's what's happening. Imagine that. Infinite little scouts. If you did it quick enough, is that how that works? Maybe. Perhaps. So, see you later, Slate. We are going to go to the Ember Twin. We're going to have a good time while we're doing it. Um, one of the interesting revelations that came out as well is people pointing out to me... Um, because I mentioned like uh, the, the gender-neutral kind of nature of the game... And they pointed out to me, Harthians don't have gender. Um, where am I going again? The Hourglass Twins. Harthians don't have gender. They are genderless. They are almost reptilian, I believe. I, I, from the sounds of them being hatchlings, I'm guessing that they're kind of, you know, the reptilian-like. The Nomai, apparently we do know binary genders of all but two of the Nomai. So that's just me being dumb and not paying attention. So I do need to pay close attention to some of the Nomai stuff, um, but that's okay. We'll get around to that, guys. We'll get around to it. For now, I really, I'm trying to figure out where do I want to go first? Where do I want to go first? Part of me feels like either going to, um, what was I going to say? Going to some of the structures on the surface, or going to the Grav Cannon. I feel like the Gravity Cannon could be interesting to go check out. Wait a minute, what's... What's this? Never mind, this has piqued my interest. Oh wait, it's just this. Keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen, for any... Anything I can interact with and look at? Any text on any walls? Not that I can see. I do want to see what this whole thing is here. I want to see what this is about. So we are going to land here and I'm going to go on a bit of an adventure, I think. This piqued my interest because there's also something very, very similar on the Ash Twin. Which leads me to believe... This is quite important. I don't know if it's some kind of solar panel or what. Ooh, this. This looks good. And we have another projection kind of pit. I don't know what it would actually be called. I'll call it a projection pit. Because I don't really know. 
I am not Nomai. I'm not that clever. How do we get down here? Ah, that's how we get down here. So, this way. The Sunless City. I was calling it the Sunken City. That's about like the Sunless Sea, which is a fantastic game. I only kind of played like a few hours of it and made no progress whatsoever. But that is a fantastic game. Um, and then the Sunless Sky as well, which is also good. Note, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. This is where I need to be. Raimi and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the pathway from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have an honest consequences. We realise this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. An update, the High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Oh, does that mean I need to... Oh, there's no way we'll get there in time now. Oh, okay, so... Or do I? Maybe. Maybe I have enough time. Let's go have a quick look. I, I genuinely don't know if I've got enough time now. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, no. Okay, so we do still need to go... I beg your pardon. We still need to go that way. Hmm. Ah, oh, I'm so perplexed as to where I should go. And I can't remember that... There's a hidden entrance. And I know there is. But I can't remember where it is. Um, or if I can even... Ah, can I even access it from this side? Can I? This could be interesting. Let me see. Can I get in your door? No, your door is broken. I am wasting so much time. So, let us... Right, you know what? I'm going to give up on that. I don't think we're going to make it today. We're not going to make it. I'm going to accept that. What I could maybe do, however... Right, I'm not going to take the ship down there, because I feel like if I accidentally fling the ship into space, that could be bad for, like, everything. So instead, what I'm going to do, we're just going to yeet ourselves down here. Please tell me this bad boy still works. Because if it does... Oh, 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 boy. Let's have a look. The Sunless City. So we'll open up this... The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Call the shuttle home. Can I? Wait, what? What? This was on the comet? We've been to the interloper. What? Is this like a no my spacesuit? I fear our situation may be dire. Hi, Poke and I landed on this comet not long after its arrival in this star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. I should leave the shuttle to look for them. I want to follow protocol. I don't know, don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke. Pi. Come back to me safely, my friends. What happened? What happened? Poke? Isn't Poke one of like the engineers? 
I remember reading about Poke in here. God, if they if they are unwell, I'm gonna freaking cry. I am gonna send that back, and I'm gonna leave that running because I have a sneaking theory that I can stop this from filling up by keeping that going. And we're gonna go right back into this. We are going to go back to the ship. Where mm, do I? Do mm, uh, do I? And then do I quickly reset and then go for the? You know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. I'll. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, I can I can fly. I'm fine. We're going back. Okay, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Please. Take me home. Country roads. See the place. I belong. Oh, this landing is... This... Oh! We did it! <laughs> We survived re-entry, baby. Oh, right. Where's the cannon? I've just seen... Is that the probe? Is that that shuttle we just sent? I feel like that shuttle we just sent. Right, let's get back to the ship. And I want to try to get to the interloper before everything ends. Uh -huh. Ow. Right. Apart from the amazing look that we just had. Let us set a course for the interloper. <laughs> there it is. I love this game. And I also totally didn't nearly cry reading... Clary's message. Like, I'm starting to get attached to characters. Even characters that I know are already dead. But there's just something about having to kind of watch as they, in their lifetime, in their timeline, as they kind of slowly meet their end. And that's really heartbreaking for me. Which is weird, because it shouldn't be. I know they're dead. But it's a bit like, it's like reading like war journals. Like I, I'm quite, I like the First World War. I don't like that it happens, but I'm interested in the history of it. Um, I've been to a lot of the war memorials, um, and that always, always gets me. I haven't heard this soundtrack before. This is new. This is new. Oh! That didn't sound good. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. Headlights damage. Landing gear damage. Is this the first time I've had to repair this ship? Please don't say I'm going straight into the sun. Okay, that looks like we're still orbiting, right? We're still orbiting. It's about to get a bit crispy, I think. Oh yeah, that's one way of putting it. Oh, shit! Oh, bugger. Never mind the ship. Me. 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 <laughs> Get back there. Come on. You can do it. Just nudge it. Just nudge it. There we go. Oh, has it... Did I mistime it? No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, I should have gotten in then. 
Cause she, right, so she said the sunward facing side. This looks like the crack, right? But I need to wait for us to get a little bit closer so I can get inside. If this game has taught me anything, it's A, the ship should have a handbrake, and B, just because I can't get in somewhere now doesn't mean I can't get in there soon. Just look at that, guys. <laughs> you just can't make this up. Is that or is that not just absolutely beautiful? Well, I slowly freeze to death on this barren rock. I wonder what is actually going to be in here. And I wonder where the... the ship it was because I, I don't think we saw that not last time although to be fair last time we were here I believe we kind of literally just touched down and then just kind of vibed and watched the sun take us and I know this is going to be close I know we probably don't have enough time this time I feel like we're gonna this time will be the time we hit the sun But isn't this beautiful? Like, how many games can you just stand here watching yourself slowly drift towards the sun? Your ship is God knows where. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. I'm gonna suffocate. If I don't suffocate, I'm gonna burn to death. If I don't burn to death, the sun's gonna go supernova. But I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> this is oddly therapeutic. This is really... Just something else. While we're here, I guess let's go have a look around. I don't think there's going to be huge amounts here because we've already removed the shuttle. You know, the shuttle isn't here anymore. We, we've got rid of it. Okay, so it's, ooh, there's a big old layer of ice. Oh. Oh. That's where the white hole is. I thought that the white hole was inside the black hole. Oh, that makes sense as to why we, why we died, why the sun still got us. I, I did think it was a bit weird that, that the sun and everything was still kind of here. I thought it was just like some weird like inverse reality of sorts. Come on interloper, get me back to the sun please. I never thought I would want the sun. What's that? What is that? Is that like that quantum? Yeah, that's the quantum moon. I just looked away and it's gone. <laughs> well, that solves that issue. So this has got to be that crack, because it's on the sunward facing side. We're slowly drifting towards it, I just, I don't know if I'm going to have enough oxygen or not. Which is sad, I can't believe we lost the ship. In fact, I can completely believe we lost the ship, it's something I would do. It's definitely something I would do. I'm skating. He's a skater boy. She said, see you later. Bo this is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. 
Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think. Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. That's what happened. I feel so bad for them. Oh, oh, no, 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 please, please. I went too quick. Not like, not like this. Oh, ah. I don't even want to know how much oxygen I've got left. Don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. Let's just... I don't think I would even check if I knew I didn't have long left. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Well, we found out a few things, right? It wasn't completely wasted. I know that I need to go to the high energy lab and I know I need to go through the sunless city to get there. We need to go back to the interloper and I need to probably do it relatively early in a loop. So there's two things that I need to do relatively early in a loop. Which is gonna frustrate the hell out of me. There's so much that I need to do. There's so many things I need to see. It feels like every single time I feel like I'm getting closer to figuring something out, it changes. You know, there's that there's a new things. Every one thing I discover, there's another two things that need discovering. And it's not just the once, it's every single time. It's this never-ending web. But I also know eventually it's going to do the opposite. I know eventually it's all going to converge on like one point where we can't escape it. We are moving always towards the end. But it does not feel like it. I don't even know like what percent of the game we are through. I don't know if there's even like a way to determine that. I I think that maybe there isn't a way. I, I think maybe, you know, this is just... It is an adventure and it's different for everyone. And I think that's what I'm starting to understand. That is why people love this game so much. I realised at the end of the last episode, we didn't come and talk to this person. Hmm. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveller's music. Last night I heard Rebex Banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means that they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. They are, aren't they? Let's see, can can we see any planets? I also like how we've kind of got the new one. There's Rebek. That's Eska. Right, I feel so bad. I feel so incredibly bad. Um, in the last episode, we saw a picture. Right, we saw the picture of the four founding members of the Outer Wilds. And it said Eska on it, and Eska wasn't in the photo, and I didn't know who Eska was. Eska took the photograph. Eska is on the moon. We have met Eska, and I feel bad about forgetting them. I can't believe it. I'm loving this game. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it there for today. I'm going to go and have a bit of a rest. 
There won't be any more episodes over the weekend, but they'll be back next week. Probably another three episodes next week. You guys will be happy enough to, to watch. I know you will. If you haven't already, please feel free to drop the little subscribe, hit the like button, and comment and say what you why you love this game. What drew you to it? And without spoiling it, why do you love this thing? Why do you keep coming back? In the meantime, though, guys, as always, I've been Sturks. You've been incredible. And I'll catch you around for the next episode.